first, we need to remove the reflector on both sides. We can use a hairdryer to heat up the sticker for easy removal. Remove for both sides. Then we need a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to remove the little black, black plastic piece where the reflector was attached to. Remove for both sides. Then uh, remove the bottom cover using 4 mm hex wrench. After the cover is off, then find the connection between the motor and the controller. General, uh, gently pull to disconnect the motor wire. For the white connector, push down the clip on top of the connector and then pull. Use the wrench to remove the nut which are holding the back wheel. Use the valve key wrench to remove the valve core in order to fully deflate the tire. You can skip the step if the tire is already deflated. Next, use 4 mm hex wrench to remove all the screws on both sides of the motor. Then push down the rim to unlock the and then remove the motor. Unscrew the nut from the tire valve and lay the wheel on the flat surface. Next step is breaking the tire loose from the rim by pushing down the tire. Repeat this process on both sides. This step requires some force for successfully removal. After the tire is loosened from the rim, spray soap water in between the tire and the rim. Repeat for both sides. Next is to remove the tire. Use the tire removal tool to pry the tire out of the rim. When we have one side of the tire out of the rim, we are able to remove the inner tube. When the inner tube is removed, separate the rim from the tire. Then check through the tire completely to ensure all objects are found and removed. Next is to map the rotation with the rim. There's a rotation error can be found on the side of the tire. Make sure it's facing forward. When putting the rim back, you need to make sure that the air valve is on your left side, then push down the rim into the tire. Now we have one side of the rim attached to the tire. And we can put the inner tube back on. First, make sure the replacement uh, inner tube is compatible. To put the inner tube back, we need to first uh, put the air valve through the hole in the rim. Make sure the air valve is visible on the other side. Then gently push the inner tube in between the rim and the tire completely. Next, uh, we can install the other side of the tire back on the rim. Spray soap water in between tire and the rim for lubrication. Use the tire iron to pray the tire back on the rim. Please be careful to not damage the inner tube during this process.
After the tire is fully installed back on the rim, repeatedly knocking the tire on the ground to balance the tire. And put the nut back on the valve. And pump the tire to the recommended tire pressure. About 45 PSI for G30 Max. We need to wait for a few hours to ensure there's no leak before we install it back onto the scooter. Clean the rim and the motor cover. Assemble the motor back together. Make sure the cover is in the right position and the tire valve is exposed as before. All screws back on the motor, make sure they are tight. Spin the motor with your hand, ensure it's spinning freely. Put the entire wheel back onto the scooter. And then connect the motor wire back. Make sure the colors of the wire are matched correctly. Put the wire stopper back on the frame. Install the bottom cover back on. Put on the side plastic piece. Put the reflector pieces back on. Now it's finished.